Round five of the new EuroLeague season and one of the most esteemed encounters in all of world sports is already upon us. The time has come for El Clasico. Real Madrid takes on Barcelona. Super special, the El Clasico for, for us. It's always uh, like a special game for us. We understand that it's not a normal game. And the first clash of the new campaign between these two titans promises something special. Having guided Real Madrid to EuroLeague Final Four glory in his first season in charge, Chus Mateo goes head-to-head -head with a new boss at La Blaugrana, legendary boss of baller, Roger Grimal. Obviously, it's uh, quite different being playing as uh, a coach, but I think this is going to be useful for me. I know uh, what I expect, I know what uh, people expect, and that's, that's part of the, of the game, it's part of the job. Now, Mm, with Rouget, Grimao, um, probably they are going to play different. Probably they are going to play faster, a little bit faster, and allow them, the players, to create a little bit more from the individual uh, skills. But uh, I wish them, of course, good luck at the new coach. And this is a job that is not easy. And of course, I wish him the best. Grimal's retooled roster features a player who's crossed the El Clasico divide, former Real Madrid centre, Willy Hernan Gomez. I'm always, you know, uh, truly appreciate that what they did for me. They, they helped me to be the person I'm there that I am right now. But uh, Barcelona is the perfect place, you know, uh, being in a great city, being in an amazing country, my country, be able to play basketball and, and, and enjoy, you know, the sport that I love. With each side keen to maintain their strong start to the season, victory is vital in this latest instalment of El Clasico. Of course, I'm from Madrid. I feel Real Madrid. My heart is, is white. It's Barcelona life. It's my life. The clubs want to win. Very important uh, teams in the history of basketball. At the end, uh, most important thing in uh, and the competition are victories, so let's see.